Hello everyone, this is Shepard from TeamworkCast.com here to begin and advance our storyline. We are here to take on the Urgent Quest and it is a spider with the most horribly pronounced Japanese name ever. It's something like Kyuraxu? Something like that? It's one of the few cases where I cannot wait for the English translation because it's it's hard. I will be referring to him uh, only as Spider. Um, and as appropriate for fighting a spider, I am using a bug hammer. I plan to KO a bug with a bug, uh, at least with a bug hammer. And we'll actually continue to, of course, KO a bug with a bug when I get around to the insect staff. He's actually kind of hard to KO. Which you'll see, he's got kind of a weird little head as well as uh, weird little mandibles covering his face. Which poses a little bit of a challenge. But otherwise, he poses like a really interesting fight. He's, he's got multiple different status that he can inflict on you. He's, of course, very mobile, especially in areas that have webs, as you can imagine. He can do things with those webs. Again, kind of like fighting the frog, he could pose a real wall to players that are new to the series, I think. Give some interesting armor, which uh, we'll go over briefly when I get it, and this is actually P, probably be an armor set that I'll end up making. Only because it really makes sense in terms of capture quests. It's basically designed for those. You can see he's got retractable mandibles almost. It's that, it's that he doesn't like always inflict poison. He actually really has to wind his way up to the point where he'll actually do it. It can be really dangerous though, especially when you get to high rank. He'll, he'll actually uh, cause toxic. Which is of course, if you're not familiar with that term, uh, Kind of what some players have been referring to, the uh, high high level of poison in the game. You get three bubbles next to your name as opposed to the normal two. You can see I'm kind of hitting pretty close to his face. But it's difficult to get an actual KO off. Okay, so I was kind of smart. I brought some, or at least, ooh, I thought I brought some energy drinks. I guess I was wrong. Let's we'll see what he's going to do here. He's probably going to try and hit me with his mandibles. Poison me. Yep. He really winds up that attack. <laughs> really telegraphs it. Well, if only Cha-Cha were so nice as to bring an antidote horn as well. We have to work our way up to that, though, I suppose. Now, he's kind of got, you know, really big legs in the sense that, you know, it almost might be you know, advantageous to kind of treat him like a uh, crab and that you'll just work on his legs and get him to stagger before you do any sort of major attacks on him. Looks like Cha Cha hit him and got him into rage mode. Okay, so probably my interesting thing about him is something you may not notice is he actually has Gipsero's hides all over his body. So part of the reason why you find Gipsero's here, or at least you find the spider here, is he likes to, to eat Gipsero's. Let's see if he turns around. Getting 
plenty of flinches. Difficult to get a KO. Now, the mandibles can be broken. In fact, it looks like I may have already broken one off. But we have to be kind of careful when he's on the ceiling like that, because at certain points he'll start dribbling poison down on you. I don't know if that is triggered by a certain amount of damage to his back, or if he'll just do it normally. All I know is that he's actually kind of close to this ledge here. We might... I was going to say we might try and get a uh, jump attack off on him. <laughs> Looks like that worked. Oop, he kind of tricked me out a little bit there. You have to be really careful. We're going to have to get really lucky to get this off. There we go. Yeah, if he... Okay, there we go. There's a KO. We might actually work on the body a little bit here because we want to get that body break as well. See, there you go. Broke off the body. He's exhausted too. Looks like he may already be ready for capture. And I actually have prepared myself to capture him. So for whatever reason he decides that he wants to go to sleep, we'll just go ahead and, and get the cap. I, I wonder if he like eats the Geoprey here. Oh, he's eating like carrion. Oh, is that like old Gypseros? Alright, we gotta, gotta try and get him. In our shock trap. I'm gonna try and like can I cut him? Try to use my knife here. I have no idea how effective that is. Other than probably not very. Oh! It's got a much wider horizontal range to that than I remember it. Okay, I don't know if he's gonna be a big creeper. There we go. First spider captured, not killed. I don't know what sort of special capture rewards he has, but I would assume something decent. All I know is he's got some great weapons. It's going to let us get a better bug staff. I think definitely a better long sword as well as a sword and shield. And they vary by status. I mean, you saw he inflicts both sleep as well as poison. So I think it depends on which weapon, on, on what exactly he'll give you. Okay, let me see here. Somehow fighting that spider has created a, a lot of progress in this little volcano town. The chief is, of course, really happy. The caravan is, of course, very happy.
So you can see here, they actually made us something. They made us a ship. Believe it or not. We were really, really rewarded for beating that spider. Which means our caravan can now go farther. Okay, so he's excited. A lot of other people are excited too. However, we're not going to talk to him. We don't want to advance the storyline just yet. Ooh, looks like we got some new interesting things we can buy now as well. We're going to go ahead and continue to do these quests in order. <laughs>